everyone, this is Alessa here with WDWNT. It is a special day. There's something new opening at Disney World, which is always very fun. We're here at the boardwalk in case you cannot tell. And today, Carousel Coffee is opening, which is exciting. There's a new coffee shop, new pastries, all of that fun stuff. So we're gonna try a few of the new items, a few of their like new specialty sort of beverages. It's basically Joffrey's coffee, so nothing like extremely different, but it's nice that there's something. So let's see if it's worth it for you to come visit. Everybody. Thank you all for being here. We are very excited to have you all here for our grand opening of the Carousel Coffee. We're all very excited to get this shop up and running. Who's ready for some coffee? Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. So this should be very interesting, but I'm excited to try it out and some of the pastries look quite delicious So we shall see I am a big sugar person So I'm not sure if there is a more perfect place for us to enjoy our coffee today I think we're gonna take over one of these red tables later Overlook like all of the water on the boardwalk and enjoy the lounge here at the boardwalk is probably also a really good place to enjoy some of your coffee very quiet as you can see Barely anyone here. Usually I think it's open like in the evenings for drinks around 4 p.m. But right now, perfect for a morning coffee. And you have like the little terrace right there too. Okay, so we are sitting on the boardwalk. There's no one here, which is amazing uh, because it's so early in the morning. Uh, but we have our first beverage here. So this is a cinnamon bun frozen blended coffee. And it has like a little whip on top and I'll read you the ingredients. It's frozen Joffrey's coffee, cold brew, blended with cinnamon bun syrup, milk, mocha and then it has whipped cream on the top i'm not usually a coffee drinker but this looks like it has lots of sugar in it and i am a sugar drinker so let's see how this tastes whoa there's so much sugar in this i feel like ooh, a little, a little hint of cinnamon bun in there um i think if you are someone who likes like right if you're a regular coffee drinker who doesn't put like four packets of sugar in your coffee every morning this is definitely probably going to be way too sweet for you. I almost can't even taste, I can taste a bit of the coffee in here, but I taste like the cinnamon and like the, like the Cinnabon flavors and like the sugar and everything way more than any coffee. Um, so definitely almost more of like, it, it really doesn't feel like that much of a coffee drink. I'll take another sip, but very much like when you get like an ice wrap, but like an ice wrap from Starbucks and it's like one of the fancy ones that has all the like extra add-ons in there. I feel like that's what this is. It is very creamy. So if you're lactose intolerant, maybe get it made with not normal milk, uh, but it, it's good. I, I like it based on like my personal coffee preference, which is no coffee. But if you do like coffee, I don't know about this one. You guys look at this donut croissant situation. It defies gravity. <laughs> this is so wild. Okay, so we're gonna go desserts next. I'm still not over the fact that this crunchy raspberry danish over here is like <laughs> Do you hear that ASMR of me ripping it off the plate? Okay, so right off the bat, it's definitely like a harder sort of like danish. It feels like it has like a croissant sort of texture, but it's definitely tough. So we'll see We'll see how she does. I feel like this is something that you probably would need with like a coffee, some sort of liquid to like break down what is already coming off is quite dry. <laughs> okay, so far it's better than I expected. Okay, so the inside is not hard at all. Very flaky, very buttery, 
very croissant like as you can see right there in the middle it's like super airy just like a croissant um I'm not really getting much raspberry but I'll try to take a couple more bites with these little crunchy things and see if I get it it almost feels like the outside and like the base of here which is probably why it was sticking to the plate is very glazed because it tastes like very much like like a glazed donut like a glazed croissant oh whoa I'm not getting much like raspberry from the glaze but I just had one of those little crispy things like individually and inside of there was a very tangy sensation so I feel like that's where the raspberry flavor is actually supposed to be but there's so much sugar on this thing that it kind of ends up getting masked oh, I found one on my sleeve but it's these little guys that actually have the raspberry flavor it feels like I'm eating a sour rice crispy treat which is such a weird thing to explain but that's what it like that's the texture of it and then the sour I think is supposed to be a raspberry tang I don't think it's like mind-blowing but as like a morning little breakfast pastry I would get this one again okay but our final dessert is this vintage Mickey sugar cookie they also have a mini one well but you just kind of like pick one or you could buy both we're just gonna choose one because it looks like it's the exact same flavor cookie just with like a different little cute print on here which is adorable still this feels like it's like a thick layer of icing fondant on here oh it's thick <laughs> Well, that is not for me like this is such a thick piece of icing that i bit it and it totally just came off of the cookie because i feel like it like couldn't be bent <laughs> um and when you bend it, it like just rips itself off and goes flying you know when you get a cake and it has like all that decorative fondant on there that decorative layer and you're like that looks so pretty but then you eat it and you're like that doesn't taste so pretty though um that's kind of like what this is it's just way too hard i think for the cookie the cookie's actually much softer i'll take a bite of just the cookie to see like what flavor we get here the cookie's actually a lot less sweet when it's just eaten alone the first bite it felt like i had so much sugar in my mouth but it was probably from that like really thick hard icing um which is probably good because if the cookie was really sweet on top of that icing it would be way too much overall this is a really cute cookie but it's not the tastiest. You're on the boardwalk, you have so many options for like really good pastries when you're here. So I probably wouldn't get this one again unless you were getting it specifically for like the aesthetic of the cookie and looking at it on the boardwalk because it's cute. It's really cute, but it's not so delicious in my opinion, but that's her. So overall, carousel coffee, would I come back here? I would, and I think it's a really cute addition to the boardwalk if you're staying here um, and you're at like the boardwalk inn. It's super convenient. It almost kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Riviera in terms of just like the way that it looks. Very fresh, very like modern. So it's not gonna mind blow you. It's not gonna be the ultimate breakfast, but I think it will definitely be a really good spot to grab a coffee in the morning instead of just going to like a quick service and pulling down and just getting your regular coffee. It's something different. So if you like coffee, I would check it out next time you're here. All right, so we're sitting by the boardwalk sign. So it feels appropriate to end the video here. Let us know what you think. Would you try carousel coffee next time you visit the boardwalk? Is it something that you feel like would be up your alley? And of course, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below all of your thoughts, and then subscribe for all of the latest Disney news. Bye everyone.